you another person as mentally tough as you. You're in your life. Hello everyone, it's your girl Florence and and welcome back to the channel and welcome to our first video of 2021. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we made it into the new year. Happy holidays, happy new year. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Florence and on this channel, I talk about all things nursing with a sprinkle of other topics and vlogs here and there. Whether you're new or you're returning, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell because guess what? This year, in 2021 we're being consistent yes i said it we're being consistent we're, this video is going to be a life update video it's been about six months since i started my dream career as a registered nurse in new york city so i just wanted to come on here update you guys on what has been so far how my experience has been the orientation process being off orientation and being on my own if i like day shift better if i like night shift better and what my plans are moving forward because i think that i know what i want to do next okay so without further ado make sure you like comment and subscribe and we're gonna get straight into the video so as you guys know i graduated in may and i took my nclex in july and i started working in august so it was just like graduation and clicks let's start working and on top of that we're also going through the pandemic it's been challenging but nonetheless i have nothing but great things i've learned so much in the last six months if i was to look back at my first day and where i am now as a nurse i would have never thought that i'll be where i am now so let's recap from the very beginning so i started in august and the first week week and a half was just general orientation so we had different people coming to speak to us we had the president come in to speak. We had um, different nursing educators come in and just teach us a whole bunch of general topics. Then we moved on to the floor orientation. So I was on orientation for a total of eight and a half weeks. The entire orientation is 10 weeks, but the first, I said the first week, week and a half was general orientation and then actually just being on the floor with my preceptor was a total of eight weeks. So I did six weeks on day shift and I did two weeks on night shifts. The first few weeks of orientation was a little challenging. Some things were new and some things were familiar. Some things I knew from like clinical and also being a nurse assistant. Definitely, definitely, just, just an extra plug. If you're in nursing school, look for a nursing assistant job. It's going to make a big difference in your clinical rotations and it's gonna make a big difference when you start working. But back to the topic. So some things were familiar, some things were not. At first, it was very, very overwhelming because I'm just like, how am I going to get all these things done in 12 hours? You think 12 hours is a lot of time, but when you think about all the things that you have to do, it's not that long of a time. But my preceptor was very, very patient. She assured me that I'm going to get it. It's going to be one step at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. And that's exactly what happened. So if you're new or you're getting into a career now, just know that you're going to grow. You're going to learn. It's going to take some time, but you're going to get there. So. I did my first eight weeks on day shift. I did my last two weeks on night shifts. And I went on to being on my own in the night shift, which was the shift that I was hired for. The first night on my own, I was pretty confident because at that point it's been 10 weeks and I've been kind of doing things on my own with just my preceptors kind of just observing for a couple of weeks now. So I felt a little bit comfortable. And I work in a unit where everyone is super, super helpful. Everyone is just very, very open and flexible to helping you. So I didn't feel like I was gonna be in a situation where I was stuck and there was no one to help me. My unit is very, very helpful. Great nurses on the floor. But I was also in the back of my head just kind of praying that something out the blue doesn't show up, like having to do a blood transfusion or having to put in the IV. I was just hoping that I was kind of gonna go through my first night smooth and sailing, and I did. So that was God looking out for me. But at this point, I've been off orientation on my own for about three months now and let me tell you the learning does not stop every single shift every week every month I'm always learning new things whether it's a new diagnosis or doing a new protocol inserting more IVs doing a blood transfusion I'm always 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 on my toes always learning so just keep that in mind the learning does not stop once you get into the field the learning always keeps going the next thing I want to talk about is day shift versus night shift. Like I said, I did eight weeks of day shift and then I went on to nights for two weeks on orientation and I was on my own and since then I've been on night shift. And when I tell y'all, the adjustment from day shift and night shift is no joke. 
I consider myself to be a night person and that's why I applied for a night shift. When I was a nursing assistant, I worked night shifts and there was no problem. It was days where I go to clinical in the morning, I'll sleep for two hours and then I'll go work a 12 hour night shift. So I didn't think nights would be a problem. But when you go from being on days and having a routine on days, because on day shift, I work 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then when I got home, it was just like shower, kind of eat and go to sleep. So I was never up during the nighttime. So when you go from that straight into having to sleep during the day and into nights, it's going to take an adjustment. You could be a night thug or you want is going to take an adjustment. So that was pretty hard at first, but after a couple of weeks, I kind of got used to it. Thankfully, on my unit, on my job, you get a two hour break on night shift and we take it straight together. So if I'm like really tired or I didn't get to sleep during the day, which still happens sometimes, I still have moments during the day where like I just can't sleep. So I'm kind of like going to work at nighttime off of the sleep that I got the night before. So on those days, I'm really tired by the time it hits my break time. So I usually get to sleep for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then have some energy to go back in unit, on the unit. So that's that for day shift and night shift. I'm gonna do a video on day shift versus night shift. So make sure your notification bell turned on because you don't wanna miss that video. So I've been very fortunate that my floor is not a COVID floor. So in a hospital, we do have COVID patients, but the floor that I'm on is not a COVID floor. So there is designated COVID floor and my floor is not one of them yet. Yes, I said yet. So if we do start to see an influx of COVID cases, our floor might be next to be turned into a COVID floor. So that's something that I'm hoping doesn't happen, but it's something that I can't really control. The last so, thing I'm going to talk about is what is next for me. So this is interesting y'all, because when I started nursing school, I thought that, okay, so after nursing school, the next step, of course, get a couple of years of experience and go on to be an MP because usually that's the next step. Being a nurse, being an RN, and then being an MP. But since I've been on the unit, and even a little bit before that, because I studied abroad in the Dominican Republic, which I'm going to do a video on as well, from just that experience, and then I have my own initiative that I'm going to also talk about later on in my channel, doing that kind of work and then just being on the unit, I've kind of decided that the provider route is not where my heart kind of lies. So I've decided that my next step is to be a nurse educator, y'all. So I'm thinking about going to grad school soon and I'm thinking about going for nursing education rather than going the MP route. I'm excited to take you guys on this journey with me because I kind of want to go to school earlier than expected. Yes, y'all, I think I'm going to enroll to be in school in the fall. So I'm gonna take you guys on a journey with me. It may happen, it may not, but I've decided kind of where I wanna go next. So I'm excited for this new part of my life. I'm excited for this new journey. I'm excited to talk to different people and kind of just see what is next for me. So stay tuned. That's basically what's been going on. And that is it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.